How you doing folks? Today I'd like to look at some rockabilly style guitar. It's a style that I've always really loved to, to dabble in. I'm not a master at it or anything, but uh, I've always had a great love for the old rock and roll records. Um, hopefully with the, uh, the few licks that I know, I can hopefully inspire you to, to get into this, this wonderful style of guitar playing. <laughs> To get that authentic sort of rockabilly sound, you're going to probably need one of these, which is going to be a delay pedal. I mean, I think any delay pedal will do it for you. Um, I just happen to be using a digital delay DD6. Um, if you notice, the delay time button is down to about 100 milliseconds, almost far left. And then I've got uh, the slap back dialed in, so just one feedback note, about as present as the original note. Um, I've got the level set to just above, well, I guess two o'clock. You get a slap back delay. Yeah? Turn the delay off. I'll turn it on. So you kind of get a real full sound, that real slap back delay going on. Let's have a look at the mystery train lick. Yeah, the way I play mystery train um, is with my thumb and fingers. Um, a lot of players use this kind of hybrid technique where they play the bass because throughout the mystery train lick you have that going and then you have your fingers which go can't really do that very well to be honest so I've you know and, and I've always been a kind of fingers player even though I use a plectrum too um, this lesson is going to be with me just using my thumb for the bass let's have a closer look at the mystery train rhythm part I mean you have this bass line kind of fud going through it first note is with the thumb open E and then you play D string G string and B string Kind of the top half of an E chord with uh, thumb, first finger, and second finger. So, and then open E uh, at the same time, I bar a kind of an A, A chord, G string, and B string with these two fingers, and put the bass in uh, on the D string. So, That's basically it. I mean, you could put this little hammer on. I do sometimes, you know, G string to the first fret. I 
I mean, for articulation, I I really mute, you know, all the strings. So I. Uh, That's it really, that's your rhythm part for Mystery Train. Delay pedal. Um... With that slap back, it really gives it a very full rhythm sound. Delay off. So it's pretty easy, really, as long as you keep the that little that little motor going all the way through. cool little lick. When we go up to the A chord, or the four chord, we play this figure. So this time we still got that little motor bass running through, but this time it's going A to E on the D string. So open A, and the, the, the melody part of that um, is um, three, four, one, two, three, two. So you've got slow. I'll speed that up and I'll put the uh, slap back on. Did there. Um, I didn't know I was going to do that. I just just cre creeps in. I think the more you do this stuff, you know, you find once you get confident with it, you find your fingers start making things up, which is um, one of the nice things that happens when you play the guitar a lot. So you've got the one chord. four chord as you notice as I said before I'm I'm muting the strings a lot to get that articulation uh, um, makes it sound a whole lot better um, now we've got the five chord um, so I'm going to play B7. Um, really simple, really. Uh, could play to the four chord one chord once you kind of get the the feel of this um, thumb we turn off the delay pedal start kind of fooling around 
with maybe you know pulling off a few strings like like this for example um, So you've still got your bass note. And you go to the go to the four chord, but this time I'm rather than do it here, I'm gonna do almost the same thing. little turnarounds there, you know. Uh... Let's look at the different parts we've been over. So you have the one chord, Mystery Train, Lick. You have the four chord. Back to the one chord. So there's a few rockabilly licks for you to chew on. I mean, I think it's an incredible style of guitar playing. And uh, obviously, you know, some people really get into it deep, you know. I just really dabble with this stuff. I mean, I've always loved the music. So I'm a massive Elvis fan, always have been. Hope you can learn something from some of the little tips and tricks I showed you. Good luck with it all. And uh, if you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very, very much and see you next time, folks. Mm -hmm.